Welcome to our journey through time and space as we embark on an epic adventure to explore the wonders of ancient Egypt. Have you ever wondered what secrets lie beneath the majestic pyramids or what life was like for the pharaohs who ruled the Nile Valley for millennia? Join us as we unravel the mysteries of this fascinating civilization, from its origins as a collection of small tribes to its ultimate decline and fall. Come with us on a journey to the land of the pharaohs, where history and legend intertwine to create a tapestry of wonder and awe. Diving into the Old Kingdom period, which is often regarded as the most iconic era in Egyptian history. But have you ever wondered how a society could construct colossal pyramids with such limited technology? The Old Kingdom period marked the start of the pharaonic civilization that lasted for over 3,000 years. During this time, Egypt became a unified state with a central government and religious authority and monumental architecture, such as the pyramids, were constructed. In this section, we'll explore the key developments and achievements of the Old Kingdom period, including the unification of Upper and Lower Egypt and the establishment of the first pharaohs. We'll also explain the significance of the pharaoh as a divine ruler and how monumental architecture like the pyramids were constructed. To start, let's travel back in time to the unification of Upper and Lower Egypt, which marks the beginning of the Old Kingdom period. It was during this period that the first pharaohs emerged and monumental architecture such as the pyramids was built. The unification of Upper and Lower Egypt under King Nama in 3100 BC paved the way for the establishment of the first pharaohs. These rulers were considered divine and their authority was derived from the gods. They were responsible for maintaining Ma'at, the principle of truth, justice and harmony that governed Egyptian society. The pharaohs were also closely associated with the afterlife as they believed that death was merely a transition to a new life. The construction of pyramids, such as the famous Great Pyramid of Giza, was a testament to the pharaohs' power and their connection to the afterlife. But the Old Kingdom was not just about monumental architecture. It was also a period of artistic and literary flourishing. The Egyptians developed hieroglyphics, a writing system that used pictures to represent words and ideas. This allowed them to record their history, religious beliefs and daily life in exquisite detail. The Old Kingdom was a time of great creativity and innovation. The Egyptians developed an intricate system of art and literature that served both practical and religious purposes. Sculptures and paintings were used to decorate temples and tombs, while texts were written to help guide the deceased through the afterlife. In conclusion, the Old Kingdom period was a remarkable era in ancient Egyptian history. It marked the birth of pharaonic civilization and the development of monumental architecture, hieroglyphics and art. The legacy of this period continues to inspire and captivate people around the world today. During the Middle Kingdom, the pharaohs of Egypt were not only seen as powerful rulers, but also as divine beings responsible for maintaining Ma'at, the order of the universe. This belief was reflected in their role as patrons of the arts as they saw it as their duty to create beautiful works of art and architecture that would honour the gods and ensure their own divine status. One of the most remarkable examples of this artistic and architectural patronage was the Temple of Karnak, which was dedicated to the god Amun. The temple complex was expanded over several centuries, with each successive pharaoh adding new structures and decorations to honour the god. The Great Hyperstyle Hall, for instance, features 134 massive columns, each over 20 metres tall and adorned with intricate hieroglyphs and reliefs depicting scenes from the lives of the gods. In addition to monumental architecture, the Middle Kingdom also saw the development of new artistic forms, such as the creation of wooden statues and the use of faience, a type of glazed ceramic for small figurines and decorative objects. 
The religious practices of the time played an important role in shaping these artistic forms, as they were often used to create objects for use in temples and funerary contexts. One of the most important religious cults of the Middle Kingdom was the worship of the god Amun. This deity was seen as the king of the gods, and his cult was centered in the city of Thebes. The worship of Amun inspired the creation of elaborate hymns and temple reliefs that depicted the god in his various forms. These works of art were often created by highly skilled craftsmen who were trained in the art of carving and painting. Another important religious cult of the Middle Kingdom was the cult of Osiris, god of the dead. This cult was centered in the city of Abydos and inspired the creation of intricate funerary objects and tomb paintings. The belief in the afterlife was central to Egyptian religious belief, and the art and literature of the Middle Kingdom reflect this preoccupation with death and the journey to the afterlife. The Middle Kingdom was a time of great artistic and cultural development in ancient Egypt. The pharaohs of the time were not only powerful rulers, but also patrons of the arts who commissioned vast public works and supported the creation of new artistic forms. The religious practices of the time also played an important role in shaping the art and literature of the Middle Kingdom, with the worship of Amun and the cult of Osiris inspiring the creation of some of the most beautiful and intricate works of art in human history. The First Intermediate Period and Middle Kingdom represent a pivotal moment in the history of ancient Egypt. These eras saw the collapse of one age and the rise of another, as well as the birth of new artistic and religious traditions. By understanding these periods, we can gain a deeper appreciation of the complexities and richness of ancient Egyptian culture. In the next chapter of this video, we'll explore the fascinating period of the New Kingdom, when Egypt reached new heights of power and glory. The New Kingdom period marked a significant period in Egyptian history. It was a time of great expansion and military conquest, during which the Egyptian empire grew to its largest size. It was also a time of great artistic and cultural development, during which some of the most iconic structures and pieces of art were created. The New Kingdom saw a significant expansion of the Egyptian Empire, particularly during the reign of pharaohs such as Hatshepsut and Ramses II. These pharaohs were known for their military conquests and their efforts to extend Egyptian influence beyond its borders. Hatshepsut was one of the most successful pharaohs of the New Kingdom, known for her ambitious building projects and military campaigns. She was also one of the few female pharaohs in ancient Egypt. Ramses II was another powerful pharaoh, known for his military conquests and his impressive building projects, such as the temples of Abu Simba. The New Kingdom saw the rise of new religious and cultural developments such as the Amarna period and the cult of Osiris. The Amarna period was a time of significant religious reform during which Pharaoh Akhenaten introduced monotheistic worship of the sun god, Aten. The cult of Osiris, on the other hand, was a popular religious movement centered around the god of the afterlife. Despite the many successes of the New Kingdom, it eventually declined and fell. There were many factors that contributed to its downfall, including economic decline, internal strife and external invasions. The New Kingdom was a time of great expansion and cultural development in ancient Egypt. However, its decline and eventual downfall serve as a reminder of the fragility of empires and the importance of stability and unity. Imagine a world where the once powerful pharaohs of Egypt no longer held the reins of their own kingdom. A time when foreign invaders descended upon the Nile Delta, toppling the existing power structures and throwing the land into chaos. This was the Second Intermediate Period, a time of political unrest and social upheaval that lasted for over 150 years. But what caused this upheaval? And how did the people of ancient Egypt survive in the face of such tumultuous times? It was a time of political and social unrest, marked by the arrival of the Hyksos, a group of foreign invaders who came from the Near East. 
They stormed into the Nile Delta, seizing control of the region and overthrowing the existing power structures. The Hyksos were skilled warriors and introduced new technologies to the Egyptians, such as the horse-drawn chariot and the composite bow. They also introduced new gods and cultural practices, which would leave a lasting impact on ancient Egyptian society. The Hyksos rule was marked by a period of relative peace and prosperity, but it wasn't to last. The Egyptians, led by the Theban prince Amosi, rose up against the Hyksos and expelled them from the land. This marked the end of the Second Intermediate Period and the beginning of the New Kingdom. The Egyptians had re-established their central government and were ready to embark on a new era of greatness. Egyptian history is a story of rise and fall, of powerful dynasties and foreign invasions, of cultural and artistic achievements and periods of decline. One of the most intriguing periods in Egyptian history is the Third Intermediate Period and Late Period, which saw the rise of foreign powers, the flourishing of artistic and literary traditions, and the ultimate decline and fall of ancient Egypt. The Third Intermediate Period began after the collapse of the New Kingdom and lasted from around 1070 BCE to 712 BCE. During this time, Egypt was divided into smaller kingdoms and was vulnerable to foreign invasions. One of the most significant events of this period was the rise of the Assyrians and the Persians, who threatened the stability and sovereignty of Egypt. Despite these challenges, the late period 712 BCE, 332 BCE, was marked by significant artistic and cultural achievements known as the Sa'it Renaissance. The period saw a revival of Egyptian traditions and a re-emergence of interest in the country's ancient history and mythology. One of the most famous literary works of this period is the Book of the Dead, a collection of spells and rituals that were believed to help the deceased in the afterlife. The late period also saw significant developments in art, particularly in the production of elaborate funerary masks, statues and other objects. The art of the late period was characterised by a fusion of Egyptian and foreign styles, reflecting the country's complex political and cultural landscape. Despite these achievements, the late period also witnessed the decline and fall of ancient Egypt. The country became increasingly fragmented and was vulnerable to foreign invasions. In 332 BCE, Egypt was conquered by Alexander the Great and became part of the Macedonian Empire marking the end of an era in ancient Egyptian history. The Third Intermediate Period and Late Period are a fascinating and complex period in ancient Egyptian history. They saw the rise and fall of foreign powers, the flourishing of artistic and literary traditions, and the ultimate decline and fall of ancient Egypt. Understanding this period is crucial to understanding the complexities and richness of Egyptian culture and history. As we come to the end of this video, let's take a moment to reflect on the fascinating journey we have taken through ancient Egypt's rich history. From the unification of Upper and Lower Egypt to the decline of the late period, we have explored the monumental achievements of a civilization that has fascinated and captivated people for millennia. Throughout our journey, we have seen the significance of ancient Egypt's cultural, political and religious institutions. We have witnessed the impressive feats of engineering and architecture, such as the construction of pyramids and temples that still leave us in awe today. We have marveled at the beauty of ancient Egyptian art, literature and music that has inspired and influenced countless generations. But the influence of ancient Egypt extends far beyond its remarkable past. Even today we can see its impact on modern society from architecture to fashion, from science to art, and from philosophy to spirituality. As we conclude this video, let us ask ourselves, what can we learn from ancient Egypt? What lessons can we take from their innovative and creative approach to life, death, and the universe? And perhaps most importantly, how can we use this knowledge to make a positive impact on our world today? Ancient Egypt may have been a distant and mysterious land, but its legacy continues to inspire and intrigue us. Let us honor the legacy of this remarkable civilization by continuing to explore and learn from its history and culture. 
Thank you for joining us on this journey through ancient Egypt. 